So let's go back to this game thing. So I have this bear, and you know that's exciting and all, but I would like to contain it so it doesn't go off into the ether uh, once I go off the edge of the map. So I'd like to actually put in an object that's solid. So I'm going to create a sprite for this solid object. I suspect it will be a wall. I suspect it will use that square, because I've done this before. And that's it. And then I'm going to create an object has that sprite, and I'm going to make it solid. So a quick reminder of what solid does. If you collide with a solid object, well, if you have a collision event which allows you to collide with a solid object, if you hit one, you will stop, so your speed will be zero, your direction will be zero, and it will jump you back to your previous position. So in a particular step, if I move in whatever direction I'm going, and it moves me into another object that's solid, I jump back to where I was, my speed and direction become zero, and it fires that collision event. This matters later on when we want to be to move exactly so it's contacting something, but for now that's all I need to know for this. That alone won't do it. I need to say what happens when the bear hits this thing. So what I'm going to do is when I have a collision with the wall, I want the bear to stop. So there's a couple of keywords we need to know now. I could say the bear un underscore o dot speed equals zero. That would do it. Another thing I could do is I could say self, keyword self dot speed equals zero. That means myself, this particular object that just hit it. There is another keyword which is other, by the way. So if for whatever reason I decided I wanted to put the collision event in the wall, and I still wanted the bear to stop, I could say other.speed, all lowercase. So that would be how I would say other.speed. Um, if you say bear underscore o dot speed equals zero, or whatever your particular object is, what happens is it will look for the first object that was placed in the room of that kind. So if for whatever reason I had two bears in the room, only the first one would stop. So when you refer to it by name, it's only referring to the first object of that kind. All right, so let me try throwing in some walls. Do, 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 do. Run into a wall. Yay. Do it. Run through the wall. OK, so he doesn't seem to be doing it. That's good. So that allows me to stop. Now, what if I wanted to do a bounce? So in the previous version, the drag and drop version, we would use a command that looks kind of like this. So there's a red arrow bouncing off a blue wall. How do I do that in script form? So if I want to do, instead of just setting my speed to zero, what if I want to do a bounce instead? So what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to comment out this line. So if you put in two slashes, what that does is it makes the rest of the line do nothing. This is a useful thing for taking out lines of code without actually deleting it, so you don't have to retype it. Also, it's useful for putting notes to yourself into your code. So if I want to say, this next section is really complicated and here's how it works, I could actually leave notes for myself as to how to do that. So if I want to know, OK, what is the other command? One way I could do that is go look at that uh, drag and drop reference. So let's see, move, bounce, do, 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 do. Bounce. So there's move bounce solid and there's move bounce all. I think I'm bouncing against solid objects, so I'm probably going to want to do that. All right, so advanced. What on earth does advanced mean, though? I don't know what that means, so I'm going to go look that up. So let's see, game maker help. Move underscore bounce solid. 
Move bounce solid. Move bounce solid. Do, 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 do. Move contact. There it is. Move bounce solid. So bounces against solid instances like the corresponding action. ADV indicates whether to use advanced bounce that also takes slanted walls into account. My walls are not slanted, so I don't care. So move underscore. Notice that as I start typing, it gives me a uh, help section. So I can actually click on the one I want. So I want solid. And then notice down here at the very bottom of the screen, it also tells me how many things are in the parentheses. So move bounce solid. And they want either a 0 or a 1. Another way you can think of that is that true or false. So the keywords true and false also work. True is exactly the same thing as 1. And false is the same thing as 0. So I'm going to say false because I don't care that it bounces against slanted walls. And let's see what happens. Oh, outstanding. OK, good. So either one of these lines of code is sufficient, whichever one you want to do. Now one thing to notice, whenever there is a command, there will be parentheses at the end of it. So for example, move bounce solid has parentheses on the end. Not all of them do. Well, so not all of them have things inside the parentheses, but anything that's a command has parentheses on it. And it may be empty parentheses. If it doesn't have parentheses, that means it's probably a variable rather than a command to do something. So that's the way you can tell if it's a function, has parentheses on it. Sometimes they'll call those methods. That's, that tells GameMaker to do some particular action. If it doesn't have parentheses, that means it's a variable. All right, so your goal at this point is to see if you can put in an enemy that follows your guy and see if you can put in objects that uh, you can collect for points. A couple things to know. Uh, instance underscore destroy is how you destroy things. If I go look at that drag and drop command section, instance underscore destroy is how you destroy things. Score is a built-in variable. If you say score equals some value, you'll uh, be able to set it to something. And moving towards a particular point, there's something called a linear step that you might try using for that. All right, off you go.